Okay, so you have a DJI Osmo Action 3 with a USB-C port, and you have a microphone with a 3.5 millimeter connector on it. So obviously you're going to need some kind of adapter to go between the two. But when you do a search online, there are a ton of options, ranging from ones that cost a couple bucks to $20, some that are labeled TRRS or TRS, and then you go online to look for a video to find out which one you should buy, and there is just a ton of confusion. So as an audio professional, I'm going to tell you the difference between all of them, which ones work and which ones don't, which ones you should buy and why, and give you some real world examples so you can get the best audio out of your microphone and DJI Osmo Action 3. Okay, so at a basic level, the two different types of adapters you're going to find are USB-C to TRS and USB-C to TRRS. TRS stands for tip ring sleeve, TRRS stands for tip ring ring sleeve. So basically TRS is the standard that we've been using for microphones and cameras and TRRS adapters and connectors came about when mobile devices and phones decided to drop the 3.5 millimeter jack and just go with USB-C ports. So the main difference you really need to understand is that USB-C to TRRS adapters are primarily designed for smartphones to output an audio signal to an analog device, like a pair of headphones. On the other hand, a USB-C to TRS adapter can be configured to receive an analog signal and output that through USB-C to a digital device, like connecting your microphone to your phone. And part of what determines this directionality between these adapters are the circuitry inside of them. Your run-of-the-mill USB-C to TRRS adapter has a DAC or DAC, that's a digital analog converter. That means it converts the digital audio signal to an analog signal. A USB-C to TRS microphone adapter has an ADC, which is an analog to digital converter, meaning it takes the analog signal and converts that to a digital audio signal to be sent to a smartphone or any other USB-C device. Now we know what you're thinking. Uh, TRRS connectors can send a microphone signal. And yes, that's true. When you're using something like a mobile device, it's designed to be used with a headset so that you can make phone calls and hear that person and also talk back to that person. So what does all of this have to do with the DJI Osmo Action 3 and your microphone? Well, in order to get the best audio quality, you need to buy a USB-C to TRS mic adapter and not a USB-C to TRRS headphone adapter. But I know what you're thinking, you're gonna argue that you've watched a video on YouTube and they have successfully used a TRRS adapter to input a microphone. And that may be true, but the reality is that in certain situations, it is not transmitting the entire audio signal. So let's set up a real world example so you can hear the difference for yourself. For this demonstration, I've chosen to use the Sennheiser MKE 200 with my DJI Osmo Action 3. And that's because the Sennheiser MKE 200 comes with two different TRS cables, one TRS to TRS and one TRS to TRRS. So this will show us the most accurate difference between using these two different cables and using the Boya BY-K4 mic adapter and this generic USB-C to 3.5 millimeter TRRS headphone adapter. Okay, so let's first use the generic headphone adapter because this is the one that seems to cause the most confusion. When we plug it into the camera, we can see that there is a mic icon, meaning that it does recognize this adapter as some kind of mic input. But this is what the audio sounds like using this headphone adapter with a TRRS cable. So this is the Sennheiser MKE 200 using the generic USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter and using the included TRRS cable that came with the microphone. You can hear that while it does work and there is some audio being transmitted from the microphone into the camera, uh, yeah, it sounds a little it sounds a little dodgy. And that's because this adapter isn't transmitting the entire audio signal. Okay, so now let's switch over to the Boya BYK4 adapter and the Sennheiser MKE's included TRS to TRS cable. When we plug all of this in, it looks exactly the same. You see the mic icon and you can see the levels going up and down. But this is what the audio now sounds like. And now we're using the MKE200 and the Boya BYK4 adapter and the TRS cable. And you should be able to clearly hear the difference between how this sounds now much fuller and what you're used to hearing as opposed to what we just heard beforehand. So yes, while the USB-C to TRRS headphone adapter does transmit some of the audio signal, where it's really problematic is 
when you are trying to send a stereo signal from your microphone, like say this Deity D4 Duo, which has the ability to separate the tracks left and right, or something like a two-channel wireless receiver that has the ability to split the tracks of receiver one and two to left and right, those headphone adapters won't allow you to have the full functionality. So even though both of these adapters have a male USB-C end and a female 3.5 millimeter adapter end, it doesn't mean that they function exactly the same. Hopefully this dispels a lot of the confusion that might be floating around online. And now that you know the difference, you can get out there and record the best audio on your DJI Osmo Action 3. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk again real soon.